All right, YouTube, today we're going to play a little bit of, uh, of Standard. Do a little switch up here. Going to see if a new card revives an old archetype. So I think this deck was like a little underwhelming, but now that it's got some sweet one mana, like acceleration, it might still be good. So we got kind of like a good suite of removal spells in the main deck. We got like, you know, our anti God Pharaoh's gift slash, um, slash like anti-aggro removal spells then we got the cards that can clean up the scare of god and then i got like thrashing bronzodon in the main deck because like it's just huge you know if we can play this on curve or on turn two and it's also just another answer to like you know any of the historic cards or it's or not the historic the sagas or like the god pharaoh's gift or maybe like a search for this content just so, like a really flexible the puppy's going nuts it's a really flexible card that beats really hard then you got jayla ranger rekindling phoenix core bringer in the sideboard, we just got some more cards to help out with the aggro matchups. <coughs> Another anti scarab guard card, and then a good little batch of like mid range slash control spells. So I'm kind of excited. Might as well give this a whirl. I don't play standard too often. I would like to play standard more, but it does not actually work out. Competitive standard league. Only 149 people in this one. I guess like the mod that just shows you how much how much everybody loves modern. Like holy shikes. Which I always find weird that it is weird that modern gets like that much love, I think. Because like, while it's a very fun format, I don't know. Like it's always super expensive. it's super expensive to get into. I love modern too. Like I, I, um, this is mostly a modern stream, but I'm surprised it blows standard out of the water as much as it does. So let's see how this does here. I hate how these are like come over into the five mana slot. Like I know that's actually what they cost now, but whenever I look at my deck, I'm thinking, why is my curve so messed up when it's not that messed up? All right, here we go. Mm. <laughs> so we got our Lana War Elf on two. I think I can keep this hand. It's a turn three Rekindling Phoenix with a redraw. This hand deck's pretty mana hungry. So I think I'm going to keep this. It might be a loose keep, but like whatever. I don't really know how this deck works. Jade Light Ranger's a pretty good draw. So I think I want to just play this. And then next turn, I'll play like Rootbound Craig Lana War Elf. Search for this kind of so we're playing against like a control deck. Yeah, so now we're just gonna put, we're gonna get this down, play this, and then probably just jam, probably just jam the Jade Light Ranger, or Thrashy B. I could hit the Brontodon. I don't really wanna kill this search though. I kinda just wanna like beat a little bit. I don't wanna run into the sensor. Ether Hub probably means they're like a mid range or like a Grixis control deck. Let's try the Jade Light Ranger. I think it's just more upside if this thing resolves. I don't really want to play the Phoenix Essence Gather. Okay. So let's get in here. And then we'll just continue to play around, um, continue to play around sensor. All right, cast down, removal spell, nice. We get a we get a decent turn here. We get to go kill this, and then pass. I would assume my opponent's like a Grixis energy deck. We're pretty naked to like the scare of God right now. But we're probably just going to jam this Brontodon because we don't want to play into Sensor, which is, I'm assuming, is a card that this deck could have. Now we can play Phoenix. Yeah, now we're just going to get the Phoenix down here. It's probably going to get Contempted, but. 
if it doesn't commit, okay? So now I'm probably just gonna hit this search. Hopefully this isn't anything too scary. That's pretty scary. And now we're just like super dead, which is kind of the story. We're drawing, well, I mean, we, I think we're, we've got the phoenix on top. I guess we'll play the phoenix and we'll take like one more draw step. We might, we might draw like, a, we might draw like a glory bringer here and then can like glory bringer this and then just magma spray it to get it off the battlefield. My opponent's draw pretty much lined up. It sucked we couldn't play that land or elf on one. All right, so I'm gonna bring back Siphoner, I assume. Or Jade Light Ranger, yeah. What do they do with this? Brask is content. We got the answer. Yeah, now we're just dead. They have the Brask is contempt. <laughs> okay. So against this deck, I assume we want to get a little. We want like this card. I think we want our struggle to survive, our carnage tyrants, our death Gord scavengers, and our chandras. I don't think we want Magma Spray. We might want Magma Spray because it can combo to kill the Scarab God. We probably don't want to Braids. The Kenras are fine. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want Land Elves on the play, but I might not want it on the draw. Maybe I just want to cut like the magma sprays as well and bring those in on the draw when I can get like because I can I can deal with a siphoner while I'm on the play when the struggle just survives. So let's cut these, bring in these. We probably don't need a don't need our thrashing brontodons because like they don't have any utility and they're just kind of like like they're they're big beaters, but they also like don't really do a, do too much besides that. Maybe I don't want like a glory bringer. Yeah, maybe like that many glory bringers isn't good. Yeah, let's try this. Let's give this a try. I think you want the Kenras just because you can grind. But maybe the Kenras with that many struggle to survive isn't good. Alright, we're gonna mulligan this. We're gonna make green mana. And this hand is not great, but we're gonna keep it. Put this on the bottom. We just need to, we need either like action or need to hit our third land drop, our fourth land drop for, for our big time, big time cards. All right, well that's action. It's probably gonna get pushed. So now as long as they don't go like ether hub siphoner. Okay, so we have another search. So I'm probably gonna run out the Rekindling Phoenix next turn because, unless they play a Siphoner here. If they play a Siphoner, I'm gonna play Chandra and tick down on it. Okay, yeah, I'd like to use a Chandra to, as a removal spell, I think. So be in for two. And if they are like Grixis Energy, then they might just be blue-black mid-range. Okay, so we get our Phoenix back, which is, we'll take that. I mean, maybe they've got like a way to deal with this. They probably have to, must be like a fatal push, because that's like a pretty big mess up. Oh, oh better turn that down. Ballista, okay. So now we can just curve out here. I'll just exert on this so that doesn't like pump and kill our well actually I don't think I want to exert because um if he just pumps and kills my Kenra that's cool and then like next turn this coupled with Chandra I can kill a um Scarab God <coughs> um thank you very much Seal Seal Dial for the follow I appreciate that and I hope you're having a good day
I don't think you can play search. I think like I think the new format's gonna be pretty aggressive. I don't really think you want like search for Escanta. I don't think that's really what we're going for. So they're coming in. Okay, sending a message. They kind of have to deal with it. Okay, they have another ballista. Deal one damage. Deal two damage. In a moment of craving. Oh, golden device. Okay. So now we'll just get this out. Make mana. I missed tap. That was a, that was a mistake on my part. Play this. And then next turn, I can either bring back the Kenra or slam the Carnage Tyrant. I'll probably just slam Carnage Tyrant. We are kind of like pretty weak to a Scare of God. But at least we get to pop in for two. Okay, Gaunti. So now if I draw a land, I'm just going to hit this Gaunti and then play my Carnage Tyrant. Oh, they, have a, they took one of my land wilds. Okay. Um... I think I've just got to get this Carnage Tyrant. Ow. I think I'm going to play Jade Light Ranger and get this Gaunti. Oh, the Carnage Tyrant's so good. Yeah, I'm just going to get the Carnage Tyrant down. And then, like, hope they don't Vizier me. And next turn, I can, like, kill something <coughs> or, like, return the Kenra. I draw a land. So this flips. Tough spot. Okay. So I think I've got to kill this. And then just beat yeah and I can force them because this becomes 10 yeah so if I oasis if I hash up if I just go down here hash up oasis my carnage tyrant Now they have to block both creatures. And then we kind of like Wrath. I must say I have a removal spell for this Brazilian camera, but then they still have to block. It'll come down to like, they'll get a Siphoner draw. They basically need, I, mean, I guess if they have a Vraska's Contempt. Yeah. That's why they have a Contempt. Push this, and then this blocks here. Or they're gonna block the siphoner to kill my. Um, no, so they're, they're just all in on the siphoner, uh, drawing them what they need. Now they gotta put something on the battlefield. I could easily have something like another Bantu's Last Reckoning would do all right for them. That's pretty bad for the home team. Well, actually, so, no, that doesn't. We don't get out of that. So now we're in trouble. Now we got to use this uh, Jade Light Ranger to draw some lands. Right, actually, so what does that do? That is seven. Yeah, I think we're going to save this. Because it doesn't actually kill them. Alright. Uh, I think we're going to put this in our graveyard. Because now, well, actually, next turn it makes it so this can't block. And it's got haste. Yeah, I think we're actually going to put that on top. Because we just don't, we just don't want this thing blocking. And then we're just gonna ship in with everybody. I do believe it says equal to, right? 
Equal to or less. Yeah. Because yeah, I remember that because it couldn't block. I mean, it's a whirler. It couldn't block. The tokens always ate this thing. Okay, so they're activating. Puts no cards. Jeez. So they can counterspell my Earthshaker Kenra. And then we're just gonna pump the Carnage Tyrant. Okay. Okay, so on the draw, I think that these, I think the Brontosaurus is nonsense. I think the Resilient, there's a chance that these Earthshaker Kenras are kind of nonsense on the draw too, and I want a card like maybe a couple of Braids. Cause I just don't want to get caught with my pants down from, maybe I just don't want any of these Earthshaker Kenras on the draw cause we're not going to be as aggressive. I just want all these Abrades. Get like eight decent removal spells. Some of them are slow. But yeah, well these, these enchanted, I just don't want to get like, oh, we can bring one more card in. Probably just a Bronze to not, well. Maybe I just want like high impact Glorybringer. Glorybringer's gotta be good in these mid-range matchups, right? As long as you don't get scared got it out of the game. <coughs> I mean, maybe we got too much removal. Like, maybe eight removal spells is too many, but. It's going to be tough to win this win a game on the draw, I think, though. There's definitely a chance that if I don't start out fast, that his deck's just, like, more powerful than mine is. This hand's pretty slow and doesn't have a removal spell. My opponent mulligan, though. I think I'm going to mulligan as well. We're both, we're both mulliganing. So his hand's even slower. All right, we're gonna keep it and keep what keep any spell on top. We're gonna draw to the land. Probably playing the shelter ticket on one. All right, well, there's at least a removal spell. So at least my opponent doesn't go like my opponent goes. Okay, so we're not gonna get siphonered here. All right, that's something. At least it's acceleration. We should get this carny boy down. Ballista, okay. Yeah, pretty anemic start for the home team, but at least we're not gonna get scared about it out of the game. We have some good late game. My opponent's not putting any pressure on us. We're gonna let that go. <coughs> Alright, I'm more likely to kill something this turn and then untap and get something just to keep the board clear. And we've got two of these removal spells in addition to Fatal Push. Interesting they kept those pushes in while they were on the play. Seems like you just wanna be I guess hitting the land or elves is just like that good. All right, so we'll smoke that. And I think we're gonna get this glory bringer going on. And I probably am just gonna exert it just to get this off the battlefield. I don't wanna like not exert it and then use another card to clear the way for my carny T. And I might, if I don't draw another land next turn, I think I'm just gonna like struggle. All right, well. Now we're just gonna like. Get this out of here. Now we've drawn all of our removal spells, which kind of sucks. But if my opponent's got a gear hulk, at least we can deal with it. Oh, that's gas. So 
So now we abrade it, play our scavenger, hit the scarab gods. That's two of their scarab gods gone. So like, one can only have so many scarab gods in their deck. They ditched a gear hole. All right, that's annoying, but we're just gonna like, we're just gonna, we might let this trade, I don't know. They still have another card underneath, I think, from my, well, now we're just gonna. And I'm just gonna get this out of here. I really don't want, I don't think it's worth the, the, the life, the extra point isn't worth it. Unless this is four. Actually, it is. Because this is eight and the glory, they're dead to the glory burner next turn. <coughs> so, Vrass's Contempt saves them. Gifted Ether Born does not. Unless, what they do? Oh, they struggled my but they they hit oh no they didn't. Okay. Um that doesn't still doesn't do it. So let's get rid of this. Alright. Good way to start off the stream. That's nice, winning two sideboard games against a deck that I think is a really good sideboard. I don't play too much standard, but I watch Matt Folks play a lot of standard and like he, he often says like I mean it looks like his deck's impressive after sideboard a lot too. Puppies over there sleeping, which is good. I guess I should play the music. Where else stood out too too much there. I haven't had like the good like land worlds on one acceleration draw yet. So like the whole we're on the play, they don't kill my elf, and then we're just like way ahead of schedule. Alright, it seems okay. Nothing special. Start off on the forest. Don't give anything away yet with the root bound Craig. It might it might change the play, you never know. I wanna try the uh, snake deck also. What do you think? I think a snake deck, maybe just like a black green snake deck with like uh with whatever it is, Lanor Elf will be good. Right, looks like we're playing mono red. I can't imagine this is a great matchup. That's a good card for it, though, I think. I think I just want to go removal, removal, rekindling phoenix. I don't want to give my opponent the opportunity. I'm just going to kill this. I'm not going to take... We're going to... Like, when it comes to Hazret, you, you, like, cards equal life. So, I don't want to... I don't want to, like be at a point where I have a bunch of cards. Oh, wow. All right, well now I'm gonna play the Kenra. Just because they're not doing anything. If they'd have played like, if they'd have played a creature there, then I would have held up struggle, but it's a good opportunity to get on the board, I think. <coughs> yeah, and we trade two mana for two mana. And then hopefully this Rekindling Phoenix holds me off here. Oh, the scavenger ground's kind of annoying. I'm just gonna use my mana. Like, this makes it so that he needs to have, like, two removal spells to kill his phoenix. Or, like, 
Or we have an opportunity to use this on oh, Captain Lantern Storm. Alright, I'm just gonna block this thing. Oh, they're just doing this to get up to their mana they need. Alright, we're really looking for a land. No land, we got Glory B. If I had this abrade, I totally would. Well, I probably wouldn't snap this thing off, but I'd think about it. If they play their own Phoenix, I'm going to struggle it and then Glory Bringer it. Oh, they have white mana. Alright. Alright. That's cool. That art is so cool. I'm going to cast out. Alright, we're going to let this target and then I'm just going to, like, get rid of my own. Just smack this. It'll come back and then we're going to crack them for eight next turn. Always yield. Yes. So now we're just going to cast Glory Bringers for the rest of the game. It's odd to have like a cast out in a. Um, in like an Earthshaker Kenra Captain Land Restore deck, I think. Now they actually need to kill both of my creatures in order to not die next turn. Uh, what could this be? It's not a. It could be a Settle the Wreckage. So if it's a Settle the Wreckage. I really don't want to lose my Glory Bringer, so I'm going to play... I don't want to lose my Rekindling Phoenix. So I'm going to play this, pump the Glory Bringer, and just attack with these two. Yeah, pump the Glory Bringer. I could pump the Land Royals, but then they could have like an Abrade or something like that, and then just kill this. Okay, they have a cast out. Alright. I guess I could have played around the cast, the second cast out. I thought like like settle the wreckage was on my radar. So I guess I just chose like what to play around and chose wrong. Which happens to the best of us. <coughs> All right, go team. All right, so it looks like we're playing against a small creature deck with cast outs. So my Bronte should be good. Um, I probably don't need all of these, like the Earthshaker Kenras seem kind of not necessary. So maybe I can board, like I kind of want these Sweltering Suns. I kind of want the Sweltering Suns, the Magma Sprays, and like the scavengers. Maybe the defeats in the next struggle. The struggle is not really that good, I think, because it's like mana inefficient. So I could go something like this. And then we go to see if there's any other cards that I want to cut. I could just cut a little bit more of the top end to bring in like maybe some Chandra's defeats and then leave some settles in. Which sounds which sounds okay. Just kind of lean the deck out a little bit. I still have 23 creatures. Yeah, I kind of like this. Dude, I love how Bronte survives Sweltering Suns. Yeah, let's give this a try here. I don't know, like, obviously, it's kind of annoying that, like, my Sweltering Suns hits so many of my own cards, but, like, I think the Sweltering Suns going to be so good when I draw it that... Okay, so now we can live the dream and turn two Jade Light Rangers. So let's give this a try. It's kind of fragile. But, like, if they if they kill my Lana War Elves, I'm going to feel a little bad. Oh, I should fix this so that the chat doesn't look like garbage. It's kind of a loose keep, but I just want to see, like, I don't know, I just kind of want to see how all this works. I would assume this is dead if they didn't play anything. I guess they might not have a one drop. Oh yeah, this is how we do that. Um, we're gonna put that on top. It's just interaction. So now we have like a big thing on the board. We're ahead on board. We can start beating in. I'm just gonna eat this. 
so weird how they just suicide this card in for mana. Like, does that mean I'm supposed to abrade this treasure? Is this treasure, like, that important to them? Oh, no, they're gonna... Oh, they're just gonna trade, okay. Oh, they spray that, alright. Alright. That was a good play for my opponent. I was trying to eat their land restore, gain a little life. And then we should just be able to, like... I don't know, we should be able to... Oh, they just pass? Okay. Alright, that's a good draw. Unfortunately, we can't cast it. I think we're in the market... I'm so afraid of Hazret. So I think I'm just going to eat my own Jade Light Ranger. Like, I don't want to get to the point where Hazret's, like, beating me down and such. Like, I want to... Like, because it sucks when you get to that point of the game where Hazret, like... It doesn't matter how many cards you have, you can't be a hazard. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna play this land. We're gonna cycle one of these at the end of their turn. But hold up a braid for now. And then get our rekindling phoenix in there. Ten viewers already. I hope everyone's having a good day. Kind of having some fun here, playing with some land or elves. I think that the whole next format is gonna be all about land or elves. Like, land or elves. Elvish Mystic dominated Standard while it was in there. So I really think... Oh, I didn't do that in the Iron Step. That was wrong. Okay, so just going to break this. Well, that means or at least my Phoenix isn't going to eat my braid. All right, Chandra's defeat's good. All right, so now we're going to play this. I like how this deck... There's been a version of this deck that's run around for a while that's like... That revolves around Registor Alpha. Yeah, so now we're just gonna get in there. It's revolved around Registor Alpha. But I like how this version of the deck here can fly over the top of everything. I think that like there's gonna be a lot more aggressive decks, and if you can just hold off the ground and then attack in the air, then that's that's gonna be a good place to be for the upcoming format. My opponent just gets stuck on lands, which kind of sucks. But we had the turn two Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, my opponent says it's impossible. I mean, like, I don't feel super bad for my opponent because, like, they used a magma spray on something else, like, when they didn't have to. Or they, they used one of their treasures, which, like, would have only given them a one shot worth of mana, but it's at least something to have a play. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. My name's Dylan Hubby, and I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. You guys are on my stream. Most of the time I stream Modern with like a little bit of Legacy and a little bit of Standard. But I play a lot of Death Shadow. So like if that's your if that's your game, I play all kinds of Death Shadow. It's, it's a really good channel for this. Um, if you want to like, the best way to support me is to just subscribe to my YouTube channel. All my streams get archived on YouTube and it doesn't cost you any money. Um, I love interacting with Magic on Twitter, so you should check me out on Twitter there. And, like, just talk to me, and I'll play your deck. Uh, you know, through the card holder sponsorship, I can basically play any standard deck, and and most most modern decks with, when combining my collection. Um, Gamer Craze is a great store in Canton, New York, which I learned to play Magic at. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They have a lot of college kids everywhere, so like they try to keep their uh, buy and sell list pretty lean in order to make sure that like they can foster the environment so yeah i mean just give me a follow give me a subscription on youtube that's the best way to support me i really appreciate y'all hanging out today i'm gonna grab some water while we're waiting for the next match <coughs> over too too much of the set to be honest like I've I've been so busy recently but I think Karn I think Karn's busted 
I'm not really sure like how to play Karn, but I think you want to play Karn in an aggressive deck because it's similar to like a Chandra out of the side. Here. <coughs> All right, OBS is reconnected. So I'm going to continue going here and just watch my stream. Um, this deck's good. This hand's good. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to play the Earth Shaker first. Start the stream for a quick second. And then now we're gonna play our Earthshaker Kenra. And we're probably playing against like a black green snake deck. That Jade Light's a good draw. If we can hit like another land, then we're gonna be able to like look for more lands, which will be good. We're on the stream, we're going. My OBS is. OBS is, 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 off, is solid. Gotta kill a snake on site. That's a Merkle Branch Walker. Okay, so they drown catacombs. So they're Soul Titan. Okay. That's a good draw. Um, I kind of want to beat over the top of this and just continue attacking. So I think instead of play Jade Light Ranger, I'm going to play Resilient Kenra just because it gives me good attacks this turn. All right, we're back. It's a little mana inefficient, but I want to, I want, I want, I just want to have good attacks here. All Catacombs we knew about. <coughs> no plays, no opponents. Okay, so we're gonna attack first, be alright trading off either of these, and then probably play play. This one, they're gonna push the other one, looks like. That's fine, both of these are gonna come back next week. So we definitely want to play this first, because if we hit two lands, we're just going to uh, hold our shelter thicket. We're gonna put this in the graveyard, and we're gonna put that in the graveyard. Because we just want to hit lands. Not much there, Robot Robotadish. We we're having some some stream problems, but now it appears that we're going good. We're a little we're a little naked to a scare of God, but like welcome to playing this deck. Now we're no longer naked to a scare of God. So we're gonna get in here. And then we're just gonna play uh, Thrashy B. The 
big man. This thing's huge. I really like this card. I like how like it does the things that you need it to do, but then it's also just massive. <coughs> like it just beats real hard. If our opponent plays a Scarab God, we're just going to send it in with both creatures. And Champion wins. Okay. A little synergy here. Champion Witch is so cool. Like, this has got to be one of my favorite cards in Standard. It's just cool. It does a lot of sweet stuff. Uh, cause I, I f oh, I thought that this abrade was a magma spray there, King Hellcat. I forgot that I put the magma spray here, and I thought this abrade was another one. That's really the only reason. If I'd have been like fully up on it, I wouldn't have done that. So the nice thing about this is that we get to get in for damage, cause even if they have like a fatal push, it's gonna cost. They need to like wait until these trade or they, these get in. So now we'll do it right. Yeah, it was just like a mistake that I was like zoning out on. Do you have a counter spell for this? No, we just want we just want to get this glory bringer in play. So we're gonna put this one in the graveyard. And we're gonna put this in the graveyard. Push through the Jedi Ranger, sure. <coughs> Don't play a Scarab God, bro. Or a branch walker, sure. Botanical Sanctum. So they draw land. So one of their cards is a land. We need a land off the top here. Right there. So let's get our homeboy down. I guess we could have also done it by pumping one of these. This would have been three. Yeah, we could have pumped a creature, but I don't really want to like stone rain myself. Yes, yeah, so they're gonna contempt this. Sure. But I guess we're still okay with a scarab god because we got this struggle to survive. So there's a sanctum we knew about. So I gotta have some interaction here. Power of promise. So that's gonna get them. Okay, so we have we got that covered as long as they don't have anything else. Because we can just kill both the zombies and then crack in. So we're gonna see if they got it. Half like this. So maybe they aren't a scarab god deck. Looks like they're just an hour of promise, like big stuff deck. I'm not really, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know too, too much about what's going on. Cards that I'm interested in, I don't really know. I kind of want Carnage Tyrant if they're gonna like gum up the ground. At least Carnage Tyrant can like beat over the top of a lot of these zombies. But I don't even know if that's that great. Like, Chandra might not be great. Chandra might be okay. I don't think all of my removal spells are needed. Like, are we going to hedge and think that they still have the Scare of God or not? I kind of want this Death Gorge Scavenger if they have cards like Spring to Mind. I don't know these decks well enough. To tell you the truth. To, like, really give an educated opinion on what to sideboard in and out. I know I'm interested in, like, these cards. I know I'm not interested in all of these removal spells. I'm more interested in Struggle to Survives, I think, just to hedge at the Scarab God. So I think I could take, like, these. And then I want these cards first. I want these five first. And then I guess I can get one of these. Maybe I don't need all the Struggle to Survives. Maybe this deck wants a branch walker. Because like you can see how it's kind of a little lean here on the two drop slot. 
I don't know. I just kind of co I copied and pasted a deck list, but I put in Thrashing Bronze Dots in the main deck because they're just like huge. All right, we gotta we gotta shift this. This hand isn't doing anything. All right, this hand does stuff. We're gonna keep the land. Anything it's not land, we're gonna shift. Play a big old two drop. Oh, they got, land. They got their own elf. Sweet. Jealous. Bang. Probably should have thought about this. And then their green deck, they have land or elves, so maybe it's worth keeping the Magma Sprays in on the draw because of that. I don't really think we want them on the play. I think we just want to be aggressive. Oh man, are they doing it? Oh, they're just doing it. Basically rampant growth. I don't think we can win anymore. Um, yeah, we're just going to play this one. Then, like, the, Earth, the Resilient Kenra should give us good attacks. At least for a little while. As long as they don't, like, Hour Promise me here. If they Hour Promise me, I'm going to, like, puke. If they Scare God me, I'm probably going to puke. Okay. So, yeah, we're definitely going to pump... We're gonna pump this resi this Earthshaker with this Resilient. Okay, so they just did discard two lands. Gonna pop in. All right, so now we're gonna pump this. That now we have good attacks. We'll play our tap land. These Kendras make it so that our attacks are pretty good in the early game, which is kind of nice. So I've been a fan of how that's been playing out. <coughs> okay, so here comes... Looks like here comes... Okay, so they just drew cards. So now I'm just going to be efficient. I'm going to attack... I don't, I don't know if I really want to attack into this. I guess they spend the... The 4-4 the, the four four is going to be really annoying. So I don't think I actually want to attack into this. Just because of how devastating the 4-4 four four is on this board. Well, actually, if I play Rekindling Phoenix, I can play Resilient Kenra and not threaten to trade with the 4-4. Four four. So and then we get we also get an Eternalized Creature in them. So we're just going to like trade Eternalized Creatures, basically. Their Eternalized Creature is better than mine, but... At least ours is going to set up, like, some good attacks next turn. Like, we'll probably pump our Earthshaker Kenra. And just beat... Or we could just go, like... We could just put, you know, four power on the Rekindling Phoenix and make that... Well, we're not going to be able to... This costs six to bring back, yeah. So we're just going to go, like, double spell, probably. Oh, my dog is having a wicked dream. He's making all kinds of noise over there. Okay. So we're still going to pump onto this Kenra here. I'm surprised they played that. I would think you'd want to hold this because it would be a good ditch to the uh, to the Champion of Wits. But you're going to draw so many cards. I guess it doesn't really matter. Ooh. So I can actually just do both here. So let's. we're going to go... Actually, we're just going to go up with... Make mana with this. attack there's probably a way that I, I could have I think I missed tap no I didn't there's no way that I could have tapped to make it so I could have played Jade Light Ranger right no because this makes double red and now if they play the champion of wits then I can like take down and get it which is sweet we do have so this deck's got some sweet inevitability because of these Kenras. Alright, so I can tempt that, which kind of blows. We didn't get a card out of it. But now if again, if we draw a land, we get some good we get some good attacks. I don't really want to attack with this Earthshaker Kenra either. Okay, so yeah, now we're just gonna internalize this. We're going to pump this Kenra, because if I pump 
make it so like the land war elf can't trade with this thing. Though this might be better in my graveyard actually, so I probably should have pumped it. But then if he trades with this Kenra, I can then bring this Kenra back. So we're just kind of like, I guess these Kenras are, like I'm gonna put this one on this one to keep, to keep like an even balance of big creatures, I guess. <laughs> it is interesting, like what should you Kenra, you know? And now that they're just eternalizing champion of which we are, again, we have good attacks. So I'm pretty, I'm, I don't know, I'm pretty happy about our spot. I mean, like they're gonna, like this is obviously, on the board we're okay. They're obviously like, getting some serious inevitability, but at least we can continue to be aggressive. The next turn we can double spell. We just have a bunch of four fours. Yep, they trade. Fun, fun, fun game. These games have been sweet. All these, the, I've played, I don't know, six or seven games so far, they've all been like really good. One of our best draws coming up would be like Glory B. If we get some Glory B action, I'd be pretty pumped. So I land where else is getting ditched. So I'm just gonna ship in here and then post combat Jade Light Ranger. Like they can go double block here, trade, and then my Kenra comes back next turn. This. I gotta restart Moto after this. Moto's tweaking out on me. Uh, we're gonna put Glory B on top. Put Glory B on top. And I'm just gonna hold this land because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it doesn't do anything. If we had 10 mana, then we would like look to do something, but there's no sense in letting them know we have a land. Like a land. So now they can't just champion a witch because they'll die. They can't really do a whole lot actually because they're just like, they're dead on the board through, and they need through a blocker. So they need two blockers to not die. And like there's a whole, then they're like basically in the same position next turn because of the Kendra coming back. So we're like, we're in a good spot. In a good spot here. Probably after this match, I'm gonna restart Moto and run to the bathroom. I think that's that's the plan. How's the chat doing today? You guys, if anybody are playing in a pre-release at some point today, or opponent plays like an hour of promise I'm just gonna eternalize the earth shaker whoa each permanent type from your graveyard wow that's a lot of pre-releases it's gonna be fun though wow that's a Jesus so they get to play like a branch walker and a land This probably just means that we're gonna play Glory B and then not exert it and not attack with our other creatures. I think that's what we're doing here. 
<coughs> this thing's cool. Yeah, six, you gotta be. Fatal push. They probably want to keep the push because it kills the Kenna. They've been the push. Okay. I think they should have kept the push because they know they have this Ken right here. Land and champion fade another play for it. Oh yeah, because they can be because they can do it like that, yeah. I think our play is just Glorybringer attack. I don't think we exert it or anything like that, and then next turn we try to get into some big old Earthshaker Kenra action here. Because if, if I could shut this off with an attack, if, I, if like the Kenra could shut this thing off, I'd be all about it. But like next turn we can clear out two blockers, and then we have three lethal creatures. I think they should have kept the Fatal Push. Am I crazy? To think that? Okay, so they're championing. This thing's given some serious card advantage. Like, it's tough that it's back. It's tough that it's so late, you know what I mean? But, like, it's doing some work. This thing totally could beat us here if we don't draw, like, I don't know. Like, if they, if they draw well off of this, like, this thing could beat us. <coughs> yeah. Oh, we get it. Okay. I'm going to put my sponsor page up here. And then I'm going to run to the bathroom quickly. I'm actually just going to restart. Hey, Shooter 91B, I appreciate the follow. I hope you're having a good day. I hope all is well in, the, in shooter, Shooter's life. We've already, we've already cashed this league. Three matches in, holy snikes. Maybe we'll get the sweet 5-0 action.
right, let's jump back into it. So we don't, we haven't really lived the Llanowar Elf dream yet, but we've had like the, you know, Llanowar Elf's giving me some extra mana in places where I wouldn't have it efficiently. We haven't done like the turn, I really want to play the Thrashing, Thrashing Bronthodon on turn two. That's kind of where I'm at. It is not. I did not play the modern challenge. I didn't have time. I've got to work there, Joey. All right. We got the turn two J-Led Ranger. I hear that's the draw, as the kids say. Yeah, this deck doesn't really have that many. The only, Really, the only new cards it has is Llanowar Elves. Part of that's because, like, I don't know a lot of... Uh... Should I kill this? Should I just, like, kill this and be an adult? If my opponent wants to take their entire turn and make this a 2-2, I'm cool with it. We're going to play this Jane Knight Ranger. All right, we're going to bin the Kenra, and we're going to build bin the Elf. If we draw, I guess, we're probably going to, like, play this Timber Gorge and then hold up mana. And then I might cycle this Shelter Ticket. You know, that's pretty greedy. But if I hit an untapped land, it's just such gas. Now we're definitely going to cycle one of them. So I'm going to start by attacking. And then just kind of like holding it up here. Yeah, so I don't really know a lot of the cards because I've just have i been busy. But I'm definitely going to kill this thing. This turn. And I'm probably going to kill it with my... Probably my Abrade. The struggle to survive is pretty good against like bigger creatures. And I'm assuming out of a green deck they have some big creatures. Could have killed this artifact. Have you looked at how many other cards have you looked at, Joey? I think Karn's nuts. I think Karn's like actually nuts. All right, glory be, glory be one time. I'm gonna feel real stupid if I have to kill this Servo Expedition here. All right, that's what I'm talking about. And now see, look at this, we're, we're ahead. We've just been so far ahead of this game because of, we're not gonna even exert this, because of the Llanowar Elf, going this here. Yeah, they just can see. Cause like the, the Llanowar Elf just put me so far ahead in this game. But I fixed my draws on turn two. Let me get a tap lane into play. So, against like big, ugly green mirrors. I get a deck with like that. I think I want some removal. From Jerry's article? Yeah, Jerry. Jerry's always got cool stuff. Jerry's one of my favorite professionals. I have no idea how to sideboard. Because like... Like, I just have no idea how to sideboard. Because, like, on the draw, am I supposed to bring out my land? Am I supposed to cut my land aware elves on the draw and bring in, like, maybe some removal? Like, in the big dumb creature matchups, I kind of want a Carnage Tyrant because, like, they're going to throw a million things under the battlefield to block it, and, like, a removal spell just completely blows them out. <coughs> I almost want, like, I almost want to just cut my land aware elves and bring in, like, a little bit more like removal on the draw. Like Carnage Tyrant and some removal on the draw. Like am I just gonna am I just gonna like be Clunk City population Dylan Hubby here if I do this? Like are the sh is the Chandra's good? The Chandra's probably not good against a deck that goes so wide. Maybe I want Sweltering Suns? You don't like cutting elf. So then maybe I wanna like, maybe the Kenras aren't gonna be very good if they have all those little servo dummies. 
So maybe I can bring my elves back in. If they're like they look like a deck that seems like they're gonna, they're gonna want to go wide. So maybe I want to go because like Carnage Tyrant punishes them for making all the little dirtly dudes. Maybe I want to just cut my Kenras and then go like this. And then maybe on the draw, on the play, bring some Kenras back in. What a gross curve. Maybe these Thrashing Bronze Bones aren't that great. The Resilient Kenra at least beats over the 1-1s. One I don't have any idea. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't have any idea. I think I'm gonna run. I think I'm gonna try this because like the Earthshaker Kenra doesn't seem very good in the draw. At least this beats over the top of the the servos. I think in the new format, I think there's gonna be a lot of like really small like. It seems like there's gonna be a lot of like white go wide decks. This hand would be almost playable if I had a green source. So I think going in the air is gonna be pretty good. So I think we can keep this hand, but we're gonna put anything that's not a land on the bottom. I really just don't want to look at a five. Yeah, but I don't really, you know, like, I don't really know what else to do. You know what I mean, Joey? I'm totally trading here. I think I want to trade. If they're on the play, I think I want to trade here. My gut tells me to trade, especially because we have another one that can catch us up. Okay, so they're, they're, they're of the same mindset that I am. I gotta kill this soon, though. So maybe that was a reason not to trade. Because I, like, this is gonna get an activation. Not gonna, not gonna block this one. But then, like, this does two damage, so we, we we get we get smoked here by a blossoming defense. But I think I gotta kill this. I should I should waited until they used it. That was stupid. This was all stupid. I should have waited, and then if they didn't use this, then they're up. Which is just like poor sequencing for me. But but I think there's gonna be a lot of like I think vampires is a good deck. I think like that that night. Oh Jesus, bro, this thing's cool. I should be playing this thing. Untamed Kabu. This is what I should be playing. I should be playing this card. That makes sense there, Druk 2. Alright, um... Now this thing's just gonna stop my face in. I actually, like, just don't have a very good answer to this card. My answer to this card is, like, double block with the Phoenix and the Kenra. But I guess Sweltering Suns looks kind of stupid right here now, right? Because of this card. Yeah. Well, that doesn't look as bad now. Yeah, this Kabu's cool. I didn't I didn't play this Kabu just because I didn't want to buy a bunch of new cards in the set. I think we're just going to take this shot. Because my plan for killing this is hit an untapped land for next turn. Now Carnage Tyrant looks kind of silly too. I think I board. I just probably just boarded like an asshole here. I have a bristling hydra too. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're just really like super dead. Okay. So now let's think. Now let's like figure out what we're doing here. So maybe it's just stupid to have sweltering suns in my 75 if my game plan is like if i revolve around these flyers like if i want to have more like if i want to have more answers to things on the ground then maybe i just sideboard in or play more flyers play like that 4-4 broodmade dragon guy oh. i need to get rid of nightbot nightbot's stupid i kind of like that idea so on the play, maybe I want these Chandras on the play. Maybe I just want, I think I want less removal on the play and I want more creatures. I 
probably want like one more struggle to survive. I, just want to, I think I want to be more aggressive when I want to play. These Kenras still seem like kind of nonsense to me. Maybe I shouldn't be playing this Kenra, and I should be playing the Kabu dude. That sounds cool. Nah, I got a lot of threes. I'll bring in one Kenra. Because it's gonna be it's gonna be sweet to eternalize. Chandra is gonna look like as long as they don't like. Well, uh, then Chandra still looks kind of stupid because the the uh, the Kabu dude is a a five five. I don't know. My guy tells me I want Chandra on the play. I think I'm going to give it a try. But I could see where this card's kind of nonsense because it only does four damage. I can deck that we saw with like Bristling Hydra and um, that 5-5. Five five. That card was sick. All right, we get, we get the turn two Jade Light Dream or we can smoke their Llanowar Elves, which I'm kind of cool. I'm kind of like down with. Especially, you know, so if they play a Llanowar Elf, I think I'm going to smoke it. With them mulliganing especially. And they put a card on the bottom. So, like, there's definitely a chance that they, they need the elf to, like, operate. Alright, whatever. We're gonna let that go. This is gas. Yep, we're gonna put Chandra on top. And then we're just gonna smoke this and then get in for four. And let's just hope that they don't have a negate or something. Give a blossoming defense. Yeah. This feels like even better than the old team or net draws. And now we can, if we draw an untapped land, I can just slam Carny Boy. I probably want to just plus this. Okay, that's sweet. So let's. That's just does a two-two. This doesn't do anything. Then we're gonna play this and pass the turn. Probably cycle a shelter ticket. This Chandra has done so much work for us. Could I have slammed? Oh, Carney Tyrant costs six. I always think it costs seven. That's just like a whole not playing a lot of standard problems right there. We could have had a Carney Tyrant board. So they scry to land into play. Nice. We just wanted to give him a chance, King Hellcat. That's what that's what we were up to. We're definitely gonna Carney Boy this game though. This one though. How's this? This creature's not legendary. That's sweet. Um. Didn't cycle my land because I was looking at the chat. Which is always great. And we get to hold back our Llanowar Elf. Defense. This game's all just been about Llanowar Elf. Like, Llanowar Elf... Like, Chandra and Jade Light Ranger are taking the game over, but Llanowar Elf's gonna win it for me. A Bristling Hydra would be annoying. All right, so now we're just going to slam this Carny Boy in here. I think we're going to attack with this too. We're just going to get super aggressive. Because this, this still trades here. We actually can one, two, three, four. No, we can't play both. I guess I should have. I, I sequenced this terribly. I just concede. I just sequenced this stupidly. I was also excited about what we have going on here that I just like, I should have done this before combat to see if I hit a Glorybringer. Glorybringer, exert. They block here. They take, and they die. They don't die, but they almost die. Yeah, I was just so excited about how sweet, like, my start was here. Look at that. We're 4 0. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm all about in life. I want everybody to have fun, you know? 
This deck's been gas so far, though. I should definitely be playing the Kabu card. I've just been so excited. I've had my. I've just been playing like a moron. What is that card called? Let me pull the spoiler up here. Dominant area. Spoilers. I think there's two different ways you can build this deck. I think you can build this deck like to play the Kenra version, and then maybe we can also build it to play like Earthshaker to play more. Um, whatever the dumb cards are. Like, play Murfolk Branchwalker, and then play... Where is it? Where are you, dude? Where is it? The Untamed Kabu. That's a freaking common. That's an uncommon. That is just a, that's like a stone's uncommon card. Like that's good on two and great on five. I have to take my dog out after this league, but I might try a league with Untamed Kabu in afterwards. This Kabu is dope. Cut these stupid sweltering suns. Dude, I had I thought the art was cool, but they only had him like, oh, we're playing against uh, Andrew Jessup. All right, we're living the dream here. This is kind of cool because we can actually like, like this, as long as he doesn't kill my Llanowar Elf here, our Llanowar Elf actually makes up for our shelter, to, for our tap land. Don't do it. Shock it, tail. So now we're just like so far behind. <laughs> we're all just mono redding each other. I, I was just worried about like going wide. So that's kind of a, that's a decent draw. That means that we like have a pretty like. Thrashy B can hold it down the ground next turn. It's just like a four power, so it's very good against these mono red decks. And then like the Rekindling Phoenix should also be the stones against these mono red decks. Oh, look at that. I think we're gonna just play this out now. Use our mana. I could have played the tap land, I guess. This card's cool. Yeah, I'm just, oh, this is the thing that's got first strike. I forgot this, I didn't see this thing had first strike. That was a mistake. I guess I should have blocked anyways. Yeah, that was stupid. I'm so excited for everything that's going on that I'm just like making all kinds of like blunders. All right, so now we're gonna get, is it better to play out another one of these? Yeah, this goblin's annoying. I'm gonna play this out just because it can brick wall the goblin. And we can cycle this shelter thing in. So now I'm gonna try to like block, block. Then I can play, if they have another goblin, then I can play this Rekindling Phoenix again. Yeah, this goblin. This thing's gotta be sweet. We're definitely gonna get to the point where like Hazard's gonna start though putting a serious issue on us. Let's get another. You got another one there, sir. Yeah, and then here we see. Here we see what you were talking about, Joey. So at least this holds off the ground. This Phoenix is gonna beat me up a little bit. Oh, we already have damage on me. Jeez. Wow, this card is gas. Cause it just smokes my Brontodon now. I guess I, I think I've got to block this. Like, it's gonna suck. I didn't even, oh my gosh. I didn't even cycle my thing. I'm just worried about like all this. I'm, I'm so like excited about all the sweet stuff that's going on that I'm just like not paying attention. So they're gonna bring this back. One of my dudes isn't gonna block. And 
and then I go, then any two of their creatures is lethal. Yeah, we're just, we're super dead. Yeah, I mean, I, I played the Brontodon so that I could cycle, but, boy, yeah. All right, so it gets mono red. We want these scavengers. We want the magma sprays. The Chandra's. We want the magma sprays, the Chandra's reeds, and the scavengers. Um. Do we even like? This is so weird because Phoenix is like seems like it's pretty good against his deck, except for against that chain whacker card. And then yeah. To hell with these sweltering suns. These sweltering suns were stupid. This was just such. This was so dumb for me. Yeah, this even makes the Brontodon bad. But well, he's got Earthshaker Kenner, right? I mean, like, if we can get the game to go long, I don't know if we can do that. Though. I don't know what to sideboard out. Like, these Kenras don't seem good. Because. And this Phoenix is, like, really good against his deck. Except if he's got the chain whale, the chain whale. We have so many bad cards, that Joey. That I don't even know what to take out. But I gotta think that the Kenras are probably worse than the Phoenixes. I guess we bring these in here. Let me see how long cut. Ugh. It is a very weird looking Death Shadow deck, my friend. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with what you guys are saying here. Let me cut this one, and I'm gonna bring in. God, my look how heavy three drop my deck is. Like. This is where this is where we need like that that two drop guy. That two drop guy we were talking about. Probably can just leave one of them in. Yeah, I definitely think that I gotta rebuild this deck. And cut the sweltering suns from the sideboard, and then maybe play like the untamed Kabu. The untamed Kabu is sick. <coughs> I like. I don't think we can. This is so slow. All right, we're gonna put that on top. I like. Don't think that we can beat this deck. Because that, that whatever dude is so good. Like that whole, that guy just like completely ruins our entire deck. He makes the Brontodon look like a dumbass. Which is one of our better cards. At least he's not doing anything to start out. Makes our uh, Rekindling Phoenix look stupid. The whole deck looks stupid. All right, so gonna spray this thing. Yeah, I mean, we probably want this magma spray. I think we're actually by the time. We're, we're by the time where magma spray is pretty relevant. <coughs> All right, we're gonna play, I think I'm gonna play Jade Light Ranger because of this. But like, I don't want to play Phoenix, have him Abrade it and then smoke it. I guess it's still a two for one. Though next turn, if I play Jade Light Ranger tap land, I can play Jade Light Ranger Abrade next turn, which seems just like a better turn for me. We're just gonna put this on top. So he's just like mono removal spells. He seems like a bigger red deck. Alright, so now he's got his own Phoenix. 
Which his Phoenix is way better than my Phoenix. So what am I doing now? I'm just, like, we're just gonna play Jade Light Ranger again. And then we're gonna try to figure this thing out. I mean, we probably want this. Or do we need threats? I don't even know. No, you were right. You were right, sir. You were right. I think we've got enough answers. Like, I really just need something. I need just threats. Now, this turn we can go... Now, are we, am I just committed here to shooting this, shooting it again when I play the Rekindled Phoenix? I've got to deal with this thing. Like it's Phoenix, got to deal with it, as annoying as it is. Yeah, we're just getting bodied. trade phoenixes here and then he's going to shoot down my token which is also going to suck now we don't even trade the phoenixes at least now we can attack with jade light ranger I like doing that on his main phase. You're playing around like blossoming defense. We're flooded out a little bit. But we explored a million times, so like it's perfectly fine to be flooding out here. We need like. We need, like, Glory Bringer into something, I think, to win this game. Oh, then he pops this with a Firebrand, too. What are you doing? It's like, Dad, I have to go out. Let me out. We're going out after this game, though. Then he just shoots this off. God, these little, like, pingers. This deck is sick. That's something, I guess. This thing's gonna attack past us for seven here. We can't block yet, I don't think. Which means like, we're dead next turn, but we're gonna hope to draw something. Cause like, we're gonna need something more than what we've got in order to win this. Cause if we don't draw a spell next turn, we're dead even if we block. Okay, so now we're like super dead. Keeps us in the game, but I have to trade this off here. All right, he's got me. All right, I'm gonna go take my pup out, and then maybe we'll come. What time is it? I need to be at my friend. I really don't have time for another league, unfortunately. But, let's look at this collection again. We have 4-1, which is great, we'll take that. But geez, we got wrecked. Those are two cards that I wanna, I wanna try out that Kavu guy. And, oh, I put this in my modern list, unfortunately. So cards, I wanna try, I wanna try out the Kavu. 
I don't know where I would try. Maybe we'll do like the Brontodon spots here. Maybe this isn't like interactive enough. I don't know. These Sweltering Sons have got to go. And then we can play like that Chain Whacker, maybe. Like, oh, maybe we can find room in here for the Chain Whacker. Um, and then that, that new 4-4 Legend, that Broodmaid Dragon, could be also like in our deck somewhere. Because like this Rekindling Phoenix is just not as good as it used to be. If this Rekindling Phoenix, like maybe we just get rid of this. Or maybe we just don't play if, like three of, we don't play all four. Maybe we play something else. I'm going to stream this deck some more tomorrow and I'm going to think about like what I should do. So I really appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out tonight or today. It was a short stream, but that's, that's what we got to do. So if you guys want to, um, if you guys could hit triple red in Atlanta Oil Thick, it's not going to work. What do you mean triple red? You're talking about the chain? Is the chain whacker triple red? Which card, which card's triple red, Joe? 